Hello, everybody, and welcome to another edition of Drew's Food Reviews. And today, I've got another episode of What's for Dinner. And I remember this from a long time ago when I was little, but apparently they still make this, and I'm going to attempt to make this one. This is Chef Bayardee Pizza Maker <laughs> Traditional Pizza in a Box. And the old one used to have... Uh, cheese and a shaker <laughs> but this one has everything you need it is the uh, sauce and the crust mix in there and enough to make two pizzas or I, th I think I can uh, combine them and make kind of like one big pizza and I'm going to roll it out and I've got cheese and actually I have some and I have some cheese and pepperoni and I have some olives that I'm going to be doing and apparently what you're supposed to do is back the instructions here say um, preheat the oven and then you mix the um, dough and uh, with a, I believe it's a cup and a third of water you mix it up and then you make the crust and you put it in the a ball in a bowl and let it sit for a little bit about five ten minutes and then um, oh yeah for let stand for 20 minutes so then you divide it and shape it and I have a pizza pan and then you put the um, the spread on it the sauce on there and then you um, top it with the cheese and all the other stuff and then you and then you bake it for apparently 12 minutes or yeah there you go so i'll be checking it throughout the time and what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and open this up and i'm going to see what the box actually has inside of it <laughs> Put this away all right so Wow, here's a whole can of pizza maker sauce. And there's little dough packets. And I think I'm going to use both of them. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to use both of them. And I'm going to attempt to mix it up and attempt to let it sit and then uh, cook it in the oven and see how it works. So. Stay tuned, guys. I'm going to go ahead and put them in there and uh, work on the pizza. And hopefully, it won't be terrible like that. So stay tuned, okay, guys. So I went ahead and put the dough in a bowl. And I've got, kind of spread it out. And I've got, I'm going to put in one and one third cup of water. So the first one, there's the first uh, cup. we go there's the other one another third cup and hopefully I'm gonna mix this up I said to mix it with a fork so here we go hopefully this will congeal into a crust I may have to I may have to uh, mix it a little bit so hang on a second guys I'm gonna mix this up really good and get it all incorporated and I'll show you what it looks like once it's mixed. Okay, so there we go. It's all mixed up. And it says to drizzle a tablespoon of olive oil or I guess it says um, vegetable oil. Okay, so drizzle one tablespoon of vegetable oil and then cover it and put it in a cool place. So, um... Put a little bit of vegetable oil over there. Just on the top of it to kind of, I guess, moisten it a little bit. And then it says to cover it and put it in a warm place for, it said for five minutes, but um, it said for a um, <clears throat> lighter crust. 
put it for 20 minutes. So I'm going to um, cover this up. <laughs> so hang on. All right. I put my chef hat over it, so I'm going to let it go for about 20 minutes, and then I'm going to uh, roll it out and shape it, put it in there. So stay tuned. I'll be back in about 20 minutes. Okay, so here we go. This is the dough. It's been sitting for about 20 minutes, kind of pumped up. So I'm going to um, actually going to roll it out, and I've got a board here. I've got a little bit of a... Uh, shaker um shaker flour and i'm gonna go ahead and knead that down and kind of let it um knead it together and then put it on the um put it on the board so i'm gonna go ahead and shake a little bit of that right there so all right then i'm gonna go ahead and work this dough and I'll be right back. Okay, I went ahead and rolled it out. I put a little bit of flour and I'm gonna to continue to roll it out until it's uh, kind of uh, shrunk down a little bit and get it kind of thin and then I'm gonna put it on the pizza tray. But that's what the dough looks like after it's been sitting. It's nice and pliable. So hang on. Okay, I went ahead and rolled it out. It's on the tray. I'm going to go ahead and what I'm going to do is I'm going to cook it in the oven for about, oh, five or ten minutes. And then kind of get it um, shaped up and then I'll top it. I found that uh, helps a little bit. Put it in there for about five minutes to kind of get it cooked a little bit. So hang on. I will put it in the oven. Cook it for about five minutes. Okay, I put it in there for about five minutes. Kind of let it get set on the bottom a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and sauce this and then cheese it. I'll be right back. Okay, got it set up a little bit. I've got the can open. This is the sauce that comes with it. Kind of runny, but we'll see. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to use all of this sauce or not. But, and apparently this makes two 12-inch pizzas, but this is a bigger than a 12-inch pizza pan, so we'll find out. Spread that around. Okay, I've sauced it up. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of cheese to it. Pop it up. You can certainly grate your own, or you can use a blend of pizza cheese. This is just mozzarella. Kind of get it up to the edges. You don't want to go overly heavy on it. Sometimes, you know, you have to go a little bit sparse to make sure that it will melt. All right. Okay. So there we go. edges all right so it looks good hang on okay there is the pepperoni over it and then I'm gonna go ahead and put some olives sprinkle a few of those and you don't you can put whatever you want on your pizza you know whatever is your favorite um, get inventive but this is usually what I have traditional um, Olive and, olive and pepperoni is a total classic. And there we go. All right, so put a little bit on top. I'm gonna put this in the oven for about another 10 or 15 minutes. See how it comes out. Stay tuned, guys. Okay, so here it is, all cooked up. The crust got pretty dang thick. Um, I think it has a lot more rising than I thought. Maybe if I would have cut it in half, it would have been a little bit thinner. But there we go. See how that is? That's 
cut up, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it up and I'm gonna try a piece for you guys. So hang on, gotta cut this up, perform the surgery. Okay, so here we go. This is all cooked up, sliced up, ready to go. I am going to go ahead and take a slice and show you guys what it looks, kind of getting cooled off. So hang on. So anyways, that's going to be the, um, the Chef Boyardee pizza in a box. And I made it from the whole box. It's not swimming in soup, not swimming in cheese, and I'll give it a taste test in just a minute. So hang on guys. Okay guys, so here we go. Yikes, it's so high. So here we go. This is going to be, uh, it's falling apart, man. This is the, <laughs> here we go. This is the pepperoni and mushroom, and pepperoni and olive Chef Boyardee pizza in a box. And here we go. <laughs> a little bit soupy. A little bit too much sauce, but actually it's pretty good. It tastes a lot better than it looks. Decent for, for dinner. So <laughs> you can try one for yourself. And anyways, thanks for watching, guys. This has been another edition of What's for Dinner. And I hope everybody enjoys it and tries one of your own. So until next time, guys, talk to you later.